Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about using custom icons in your Angular app. Uh, so this Lobster is not part of the Google font. Uh, it's not directly available under your material meta icon library. So you need to download it from the internet and make sure it's uh, not a copyright protected. The free SVG icons. And I downloaded this guy under the assets SVG folder. So lobster.svg. Lobster uh, how to use this custom icon in your Angular Material Library? Uh, it's extremely easy. First, obviously, you need to install uh, Material Library, ng add at Angular Material. Every Angular app, I can imagine you don't use Material Library, so you should already have it installed. Now, you need to make three little changes to your source code. The first is your module. You need to import these two modules, Matt Icon module and HTTP client module. Every Angular app should already import it, these two modules, regardless you plan to use custom icon or not. Because Matt Icon module has all the material icons, HTTP client module has all the, no, make the HTTP client API calls like get, post. So these two guys should have been installed already, imported already. Every app will need these two guys. So once you import them in your module, of course, you won't add them to the import list because uh, this module is going to use them. Um, then go to your component. So the components you imported to classes, Mat Icon Registry class and a DOM Sanitizer class. And then you instantiate these two, two classes as private properties in your constructor. So you have two classes imported. You created two instance for uh, one instance for each class. Then in your constructor, you can this Mat Icon Registry to add SVG Icon method which takes two arguments. The first one is the name of your icon. I call it lobster. The second is the URL. Here I use this DOM sanitizer bypass security trust resource URL. So this file is trusted. So I'm accessing this file under my assets SVG folder and it's trusted. So I use the relative path. Double dot, go to the parent directory. So that's the file. Uh, that's simple enough. Import constructor, then invoke this function. Your template is just a, this little guy, mat icon svg icon equals lobster. That's it. All you need to do. And now you can use your custom icon in your component. Yeah. By the way, I also have this uh, git repo uh, in the GitHub, so feel free to check out my source code. But I don't think it's necessary because this little app is, app is so simple that uh, it's kind of, uh, yeah, you don't need to clone my git repo to be able to use this. Just three little guys. Import two modules under add into under import list. Two classes instantiate them in your constructor and create the icon and use the icon with the SVG icon equals the icon name. That's it. Okay, thank you guys. This is my video.